And yes, I found the module that, that I have looking for a long time. And what is special about this module or PCB board? I'm gonna tell you right now. And it's a Type-C USB 22.5 watts bidirectional fast charger buck converter mobile power module motherboard with display that support PD, quick charge, SC, SCP and this one I didn't know what is it. And what is special about this module? It's special because you can make your own power bank and on the display beside it shows the percentage of the battery it, it shows how many watts and amperes are is pulling that device that you are charging that is beautiful it's it's around four us dollars and the link will be in description below so you can check it i ordered it and of course i got it i do not see bubbles But it's good that it comes in cardboard package. Oh, he, and they also include a foam. Take a look, nice. Here it is, the module that should be in that foam, but is it's not. Maybe it's damaged. Okay, the module. And they include two wires. Take a look. The black one is longer, the red one is shorter. Beautiful. I do not have wires. Oh. What do you think? It's awesome made with two quick charge USB ports, Type-C for charging the battery. And in the middle we have LCD color screen. Also we have these tiny wires with temperature sensor for battery protection and it's looking nice one push button on the side okay dun, 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 dun. 360 of course let's see the specifications 22.5 watts okay can deliver 5 volts 3 amperes, 9 volts 2 amperes and 12 volts 1.5 amperes it says in the specifications that is nice protocol it says PD quick charge Apple FCP SCP and this VOOC I don't know what is it and we're gonna check that and test it and before I test this module let me share my coffee page where you can buy me one coffee to support my work and my channel. You can do one time or you can be a monthly subscriber. Okay. And let's say thank you to my latest supporters like Alan Towers who support me and buy me one coffee. I wrote hello Alan and thanks for the support and the coffee. Let's remove the protector. Oh. Okay, let's solder some wires on the module. Whoa. Right now I'm gonna solder two 18650 lithium batteries, but I'm planning to make uh, my own DIY power bank using this module, and I will use this big 26 650 lithium batteries with 5,000 milliampers, and the total capacity will be 20 amperes. They're still not tested. I'm gonna do in some future videos okay let's put solder the positive okay and now the negative Ooh. 
What? It's on. Take a look. What? Beautiful screen. And it shows with big numbers 87% that the battery is full. On the right side we have hours. That is minutes, I think. Can I reset it if I hold it? No. Double tap. Elmin. Oh, here it is. The second menu where it shows the amperes, the volts. And we have, and there. Are oh, nice. I'm going to hold it again. Beautiful. And the first thing that I will, I will test is with how many milliampers is charging the battery. And that's why here I have my type C USB tester. And what is yes the second number of the percentage indicator indicator is blinking and is charging with almost one ampere nice that is nice one ampere and it says that the input voltage is 4.2 4.9 watts let's change it and take a look on the screen also shows with how many amperes is charging the battery Z one ampere and the voltage dropped to 4.5 volts my power adapter is little bit not okay never mind okay let's do some test here I have the multimeter which is attached to the PD trigger a very tiny PCB board that is a trigger and you can choose different voltages 5, 9 and 12. I'm gonna attach to the power bank module and take a look. Now we have 5 volts output. Let's choose another voltage. Let's go in this way. 12 volts. Can you see it? And let's choose 9. Also 9 volts output. Using these switches you can control the output voltage from the power bank module and it will turn off because there is no load attached and it's nice, I love it. I'll try to charge my phone, charging and what it says on the display? 0 0.7 amperes, 5.1 volt. Why is pulling so mu so little? Maybe I need to change the cable. I think where is the cable? All right, this is PD. I think cable. Yes. Now you can see that is pulling 1.5 amperes. Five volts on this port nice my test bulb let's hook up all right it's working and now we have 1.7 amperes output 89 percent 8.6 watts what does it mean this c oh that is for charging a out C input. I'm gonna hold it. Nothing happens. 8.6 watts, 47 minutes. It says 3 hours and 47 minutes remaining time for charging. That is nice future. On the side of the board, there are some kind of Pinouts where you can do some measurements. It says VDO SWCLK ground, and I don't know for what these are these points right here. 
maybe for testing oh and by the way this microscope is awesome it's a nice module it's something new that shows the amperes the volts the watts the input power for charging the output power it have two usb ports pd trigger quick charge and i think it's worth it okay this will be a nice diy, DIY project that i will make in in future and that was all for today video please give a like share and subscribe to my channel see ya